What's up guys, welcome to Kojiro's Finale, and let's play Basara 2 Heroes! Alright, so again, most of these campaigns are going to be five stages long, but because we managed to fit two fights into one stage, it's only going to be four videos long, so um, that was pretty handy. We managed to get the two, two stages in one video, I should say. And maybe that'll happen again with the others, who knows? I really would like to cut down the run time on this Let's Play. I had a viewer request to see... Mori Matanari, because I kind of skipped over him in the original Basra 2 game. So, like, if I could fit him in here before we move on to uh, Basra 3, that would be pretty nice. Uh, so, let me know if you guys want to see that. I definitely would not be opposed to including Mori in there, as I have wanted to do before. Okay, so a couple things different for this setup for Kojiro. So, he's angry, he's pissed. So, I'm going to be using the most aggressive setup I can for him. So, his first uh, secondary attack is going to be the lightning bolt dash forward which is very good for mobility it's his uh his jab that moves him forward at a high velocity and the other one is going to be his sort of berserker style power uh which i think they go really well together i'm also a really big fan of the the crescent moon slash as well i think that one is very effective but um i just this just not the setup i wanted to go for this particular stage but you could definitely take advantage of that i think it's a very optimal setup for him I really do like a lot of his abilities. So, uh, first things first here, one thing you probably noticed at the start there, I show a little bit more of the uh, menuing before I managed to get into the gameplay here for this video. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to show off um, switching the alternate costumes. So this is a, a new feature that we haven't shown off yet in any of the boss for games. But uh, starting in boss for 2, characters now have alternate costumes. So we can now have uh, a color swap for Kodro. This is his second alternate costume. His first alternate costume is sort of like a more Japan traditional Japanese uniform. I, I'm sorry I didn't get to show that one off on screen. It, it's okay. It shows off a little bit of his um, a little bit of his chest there. But it has the same like green more of a green color palette with some yellow showing through. I really, really love the blue though. I really like the way this outfit looks. I would actually consider cosplaying if I didn't put so much effort into making the version that I have now, that the standard brown that I cosplay. But yeah, I really, really do love the blue color scheme. It's never seen again in any other Bossware games afterward, as far as I know. But um, one of the, I do actually have a little mini figure of Kojiro that's in this color scheme with the blue, and I thought that was a pretty rare find when I found it. So. The objective for this level is going to be rescuing uh, Masamune's captured soldiers, just like in the anime. So this is going to be very similar to that that nighttime episode from the anime where Kojiro has to go in and rescue um, those soldiers that Masunaga Hisahide had captured. The uh, quirky guys that we always see serve his signature soldiers that always have like the weird aesthetics with the, the guy with the poofy hair and you know, his ragtag group of soldiers that we always see that are left mostly nameless. Well, they're they're here in the game, and uh, we're going to be rescuing him. They're not they're not exactly the same, but one thing that is similar to that episode in the anime when they adapted it from the game is they included the uh, the miasma, the poison that. Um, Matsunaga Hisahina uses, so as you can see here, these cauldrons are going to ignite and start pointing out a toxic gas, which is going to slow us down and drain our health a little bit. So we can uh, manage to counter that by destroying them. We definitely want to do that as soon as possible so we're not hindered any. So we definitely want to take advantage of that. But yeah, like I said, I'm going for Kojiro's most aggressive setup here so we can show just how pissed off he is and how much he's ready to end this. So... I really like the uh, the stunning effect of his punches and kicks there, but it uh, doesn't always deal a whole lot of damage. That's why we have the utter ability to deal massive damage once the enemies are stunned. And I do really like how he drags his sword through the dirt like that. So a lot of tough, very tough enemies in this stage too, uh, which won't be much of a problem for the most part, but I did get beat up pretty bad there by those guys with the pole arms. Uh, but it does happen. We may have to fight uh, Matsunaga Hisahide's elite guard group as well like we did in the, one of those previous stages. Oh, here we go. Sure enough, we found them. In this area as well, we have to destroy the uh, the cauldrons that contain the, the miasma, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. There's a pike formation surrounding them, which is pretty easily gotten through with that dash ability. But yeah, these guys can be pretty tough, but they're definitely no pushover. But yeah, getting through those pike formations is no problem whatsoever. 
If only they were to make them a little bit more challenging to get through in the future games. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when we get to Boss Rush 3. So, these guys with the shields actually have firearms, and their shields are actually quite a bit higher up. And they also, uh, the, the overall formation is a little bit better, so those guys have a better defense overall. Uh, but nothing we can't get through. Again, the pike formations are not really all that durable, really. At least only having us fight two of these guys at once, it could be a lot worse. But then they had us fight three the first time, and we're probably going to fight more before the stage is over. Oh, no, never mind. We are fighting three of them. Never mind. I thought we were only fighting two. Anyway, so about the alternate costumes. So, for the other two heroes' characters I'm going to be showing off in Basura 2 Heroes, I will be showing off all three of their costumes, their original and their two alternates. And uh, going forward into Basra 3 and 4, I'll be talking about the alternate costumes that were available for those, as well as, you know, as we transition to the Basra 3 and into the PS3, Xbox 360 era, we'll have the ability to talk about DLC costumes, which is uh, not really anything I'll be able to show off on screen because I don't have a Japanese PSN account to download them, and I'm sure the download codes are obsolete now. But uh, for instance, in Basra 3, there were some other Capcom characters that uh, were available outfits for the the characters. So like KG had, I think it was in Bossor Three, uh, Bossor Three Utage. You had uh, you had KG as Chris Redfield. You had uh, Date Masamune as Dante from Devil May Cry, and Mitsunari as Virgil, and you had Kojiro as Wesker from Resident Evil 5. So they basically just turned his outfit black and made it, gave it a leather texture and gave him like a really evil looking aesthetic, and it actually works really well, but definitely was um, for no sure lack of irony for my friend that cosplays Wesker and is one of his namesakes. So it was definitely kind of odd that one of my characters, one of his characters would eventually cross over like that. But he's also a huge fan of Masamune, hence why I call him Boss sometimes. And uh, we, I joked that he sh he also cos cosplayed uh, DMC4 or Dante, so I, I told him as an inside joke he should totally uh, cosplay the he should cosplay as Dante Masamune cosplaying Dante from Devil May Cry, which would really be funny. Anyway, so we freed some more of us and many soldiers there. They're tied up on the pillars like that. We can just, with one hit, slash away at the ropes and free them, and they'll be able to fight with us. Oh, great. One more firearms formation to get through, which we can just jump over and skip them, and then we have to fight three more of these guys, and then we'll finally be on to the boss battle against um, Matsunaga Hisahide. So pretty soon, the theme music's going to start kicking in, and it's going to be awesome. So we'll have the um, the Bossar Heroes 2 Blade Cord theme, which is pretty cool. It's another um, uh, TM Revolution, Abingdon Schoolboys song, which uh, you know I love those guys. Like They add so much to Bossara just by, you know, all of the iterations of Bossara have a TM Revolution song or Abingdon, Abingdon Schoolboy song in there to an extent. Bossara 2 didn't have one, but I still like that song quite a bit. Um, you guys didn't see the original opening for Bossar 2 in the Bossar 2 Let's Play. You saw the one for the HD collection, which has a different song. But that song, actually, it's the song the song that does play in the Bossar 2 opening in the Let's Play for the HD collection. is a song called We Are. Um, it's not the actual song for the original game. But, and both songs are really good. I, I really do like both of them. But uh, I do like Blade Chord. Um, I like... Um, what's the one that played for Bossar 1? Oh, uh, no, it's not the time to forget its name. But yeah, I love all those songs. It's just a shame that they copyright strike them so bad and prevent the video from being shown in countries where um, the song is not marketable. So countries outside of Japan, like America, unfortunately. Anyway, it's time to settle this once and for all. So the villain of the Warring States is finally going to be cut down by... Our righteous heroes, Date Masamune and Kojiro. So, um, as you can see, there is the, the pot here in the center. Masunaga Hisahide in this fight is quite the son of a bitch. Like, he will 
Um, he'll shoot flames out at you. He has a lot of health. He'll call for, like, halfway through the fight, he'll call for reinforcements as well, which will really throw you off. And if I don't play things right, I could potentially um, run into some real trouble here. So I want to be careful and not open up all those crates that could potentially hold healing items because I, I hit, opened that one, but I didn't want to pick it up because if I end up taking, if I end up picking those up and not gaining a lot of health from them, like if I'm already close to full health, then they're essentially wasted, which would suck because I really need to have those accessible in the map in case I take too much damage, which is very likely. So he's down at half health, and he's gonna go ahead and go crazy. So he's gonna start going really fast. Um, he's gonna be, he's gonna use his gauge attack. And then he's going to start calling in for reinforcements. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, the Miasma Cauldrons so he doesn't have that advantage against us. It was really cool in the anime to see Kojiro um, in, in this exact scene go sort of on the defensive and uh, sort of calculate things while he couldn't see or react to the, the Miasma. So, yeah, that flame attack, though, that Masanaga Hisahide has, though, is a real bitch because it can... It goes out in three different directions, and it, it follows up by seeking you into the air and launching you, which can be really aggravating. So we're going to get really pissed off and start punching and kicking him and fighting dirty like we do. And uh, his health is dropping now, but yeah, he's he's pretty tough in this fight. They're, I, they're really in Boss for Two Heroes, they started really cranking up the bosses and making them a lot better. But the boss fights are going to get, just if you think this is good, wait until we get to boss for a three. The boss fights get so good in that game. And they actually become somewhat strategic instead of just like a random exchanging of blows with minimal minimal potential for blocking. Boss for a three really makes the bosses very dynamic. And, uh, you know, you're colliding with them and the, uh, the struggles and contests that you can do. Alright, so now we have, we've used our gauge, so we're going to go ahead and knock him down to size. Jackass. Okay, so now he is, uh, he has a full new health bar and he's called in a bunch of reinforcements. So this is the real dick move that Matsumaga Hisahide does. But I like it because, it, like I said, it makes it a really worthwhile final boss. The way that the final bosses were in the previous two games was just not really even close to this. So this is pretty awesome. We are going to kill a few of these guys, especially the guys with the crates on their back so we can get some more health and increase our boss rate gauge up a little bit. That way we can use another boss rate attack against Masunaga. So, we managed to do that. Masamune is not going to be too much help here. He's held his own pretty well. Um, and again, uh, right now we don't have this ability, but starting in boss rate 3, your partners will be a lot more useful, but they can actually die and you'll have to revive them, which I don't think is really anything we have to worry about here because Masamune is taking some damage, but it would take forever. Oh, sorry, it would take forever for his health bar to deplete to a point where he could actually get knocked out. I do want to be careful because Matsunaga Hisahide's gate is almost full again. I managed to retreat just far enough back to avoid his flame attack and then establish my berserk attack again. Well, that was kind of crappy. He almost did like a grapple against us there. Alright, his second health bar is halfway depleted, so we're doing pretty good. It seems like this one depletes a little bit faster than the previous one. But even still, it's like they really do make this hard on you. And because I consumed some of those healing items right off the bat, when we first, in the first part of the fight, I kind of set myself up for failure there a little bit. So I would recommend, you know, if you guys are playing along with, Definitely don't touch those healing items in the back row, especially the middle one, because chances are it'll drop a large health pickup, which also increases your boss rate gauge. And that's like a last ditch, like only pick that up if you can deliver the final blow or if you're low on health. He kind of got lost in the crowd there, almost lost where he was. We might be able to get our gauge full and do one more boss rate attack against him to finish him off, but yeah, he's gotten pretty tough. I do like... I do like Matsunaga Hisahide as a villain overall because he is pretty menacing, he fights dirty, he's unpredictable, and I just like his design. His design is very villainous, but it's also somewhat minimalistic compared to Basura's standards, the contemporaries. Um, and he uses the regular sword, so I, I kind of like that about him. He just walks slow and is not all that fun to play as. 
Of course, we really don't get to play as him until um, Boss Row 3 Utage, which is, an, again, another spin-off that has to do with him. And then he hasn't had much time in the spotlight since then. But he had basically his own game, so he doesn't really have any room to complain. All right. Our Fury Drive gauge actually increased back to full. So we're going to go ahead and use that now and increase our speed and damage. So hopefully that should be enough to finish him off. Man, he gave us a run for our money. All right. There we go. One hell of a final blow there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed finally getting to play as Kojiro. He's my favorite character in Basara. And, you know, my one of my cosplay namesakes. I'm really glad you guys got to uh, enjoy this experience with me. Um, I, you'll be seeing Kojiro again in Basara 4 when I finally get to play as him again. But until then, he's gonna he's gonna kind of be on the sidelines again. But overall, I really did enjoy this. Um, in, in remorse for what he has done, he's going to attempt to commit seppuku, but Masamune is going to stop that. This is a recurring thing he does in the anime as well. Kind of a touching scene. I, I was very well done. A great end of the story. Finally retrieved his dragon claws. あなたに刀を向けた暴挙。許されることではありませぬ。龍と刀、そして皆の命、あなたの二つの宝を取り戻した今、この小十郎にできることはただ一つ。野望なしだぜ、小十郎。まさぶれ様。<笑>